We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies. YouTube channel, Easter Egg Psychic. All right, potentially huge future references to movies based on comic books by publishers DC and Marvel. And I think The Hunger Games is shown in this as well. Predominantly film series between around 2010 and the near present, 2024. You can see these in the Miami Vice television series episode, Blood and Roses, Season 4, Episode 19, broadcast in 1988. Miami Vice is the crime TV drama, which aired on NBC between 84 and 1990. The cast of this episode, Don Johnson and Philip Michael Thomas, they play the leads, detectives Crockett and Tubbs, actress Sandra Santiago, detective Calabresi has a big part in this story, and guest stars Stanley Tucci as Frank Muska, Michael Wincott, Meg Foster, Paul Herman, and Frank Stallone, brother of well-known actor and director Sylvester Stallone. All right, so in the course of this story, Tucci's character attempts to strike up a romance with Detective Calabresi, who's operating under the cover of an interior designer. Stanley Tucci played Cesar Flickerman in the Hunger Games films, this series has been ongoing since 2012, a dystopian action series based on the novels by author Suzanne Collins. Cast of the first film included Jennifer Lawrence, Josh Hutcherson, Liam Hemsworth, Woody Harrelson, Elizabeth Banks, Lenny Kravitz, and Donald Sutherland. All right, so possible anecdotal or idiom-based references. The title, The Hunger Games. And food is a subject of this story. One of the gangsters in this episode owns a spaghetti factory. At around 19 minutes, 13 seconds, there's a scene in a restaurant. Another possible reference to the Hunger Games. The characters sit down at the table to empty plates. And several look around the dinner table and it's like, uh, where's the food? At 34 minutes, 53 seconds... There's another scene in a restaurant, and the name of this establishment is Pascal's Pascal. Actor Pedro Pascal has been confirmed to play the Marvel Fantastic Four team leader, Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic, in three unreleased movies as of this recording, November 2024. These are Fantastic Four First Steps, due out in July 2025. Vanessa Kirby, Joseph Quinn, Eben Moss Bachrock, Julie Garner, and Ralph Innocent will be in this cast. And he's also announced to appear in Avengers Doomsday in 2026, where former Iron Man Tony Stark actor Robert Downey Jr. will play the Marvel Arch villain Doctor Doom. This is due out in May 2026. Alright, so outside the Pascal's restaurant, you'll see the only character that I could find in this episode who wears a black hat or head covering. And it's around 36 minutes. Some gang members in a black Trans Am attempts to do a drive by hit or shooting on Frank Mosca and Gina Calabresi. The shooter is wearing a black ski mask. Black Pontiac Trans Am. I thought this interesting because this, of course, is the model car used in the Knight Rider TV series, also on NBC in the 1980s. And this starred actor David Hasselhoff. Hasselhoff is shown and mentioned in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 in 2017. And the actor and singer appeared in... A promotional music video for the film along with actress Karen Gillan is for Hasselhoff's song Inferno. Actress Meg Foster is another noteworthy cast addition to this Miami Vice episode. She played Evil Lynn in the 1987 superhero film Masters of the Universe based on the toy and animated TV series. The cast included Dolph Lundgren, Frank Langella, John Cypher, Chelsea Field, Billy Barty, Courtney Cox, and Robert Duncan McNeil. Alright, so Dolph Lundgren, of course, worked with Sylvester Stallone 
in many films since Rocky IV in 1985. He was in the Expendables series from 2010. Ann Lundgren played an early Marvel movie character, Frank Castle, the Punisher, in a 1989 film adaptation with a somewhat darker and grittier tone than the current crop of Disney's Marvel films. Also in this was Louis Gossett Jr. and Jerome Crabb. My YouTube channel is Easter Egg Psychic. There I go back and look at movies and television from the past. I analyze these for possible references to future media. These may appear in the form of anecdotes, idioms, anagrams, hidden in the subtext of the work in question. I also use an unconventional method where I look at the likenesses of the actors. And what I found is you can take the likenesses, match these up to some of the anecdotal items, and show past, present, and future information about actors and other personalities or may resemble the personalities in the movie or television episode that you're watching. My email contact is easteregguy, that's G-U-Y, at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.